Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna show you guys a couple of different methods to help fix your internet connection if you're getting an error, even though it shows that you're connected to the internet. So we're gonna run through four different methods or solutions that you can try, and hopefully this fixes your problem. Before we get started, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's begin. All right, so for the first step, we're gonna click search. And we're gonna search for, sorry, <clears throat> view network connections. We're gonna click on that. Now, since I'm running a virtual machine, mine's showing up as ethernet, but you're just gonna click on the box that says Wi-Fi. So we'll right click and select properties. And then we're looking for internet protocol version four, TCP slash IPv4. And then we're gonna select this and hit properties once again. And then here where it says obtain DNS server addresses automatically, we're gonna click on use the following DNS server addresses. And then here we're gonna enter Google's DNS server address, which is eight, 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 and eight. And then the alternate is gonna be eight, eight, four, and four. And then we'll click okay. And that's all there is to that method. If you had some sort of DNS server issue, that should fix it. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the next method. All right, so for the next method, we're gonna click search. We're gonna type RUN run, and then we'll click to open. All right, and then once we have this window open, we're gonna type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. We'll press okay. All right, moving on to the next method, we're gonna search again for device manager. We'll click on that, open it up. And then we're gonna click the arrow next to network adapters. Now, if you're not sure what the title of your network adapter is, here's how to find it. So we're gonna go back to view network connections. And then without clicking into anything, it's gonna show me what my network adapter is called right here. So parallel vert IO ethernet adapter. That's what we're looking for. So we'll close out of this and this is what we want. And we're gonna right click on this and select update driver. We're gonna search automatically for drivers. And if you have a driver to update, it's gonna show up right here and you'll wanna follow along with that and make sure all those drivers are up to date. All right, we have one more method to show you guys. And so I'll click the Windows button. We're gonna search CMD. And then we're gonna right click on this and run as administrator. We'll click yes and we'll type the following command. Net sh winsock reset. We'll have these commands in the description box below so you guys can copy and paste them. And we'll press enter. All right, successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer. So go ahead and restart your computer at this point. And hopefully by now you have a working internet connection. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or need any help, let us know in the comment section below. Again, if you're interested in your own Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.